Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, subscribe, share, and comment. So the workshop today is in full swing and I have to be honest, I actually was going to make a video yesterday, but I just could not get my act together. And the night that I videoed, um, just pre preparing and prepping these two books, I ended up Oh, going up past midnight because I got obsessed with this book and just like getting this one started. So I'm just going to show you what I've done so far and then show you a couple of the, the flaps and folds that I did in here. So, so far I, uh, I went ahead with some sort of a, because it's a fairy tale princess type of a thing. So I covered up this stuff in here because I don't really want to know what this book is about or you know any of that so I'm kind of figuring out where I want um, some blank pages and what just just kind of walking through the book and deciding what I want to do and what I don't want to do so I put a pocket here and I just kind of stick some stuff in there just to remind me that's a pocket and maybe cut out a notch I don't know I should have probably done that beforehand and then I painted, you can see the silver shine on this. So silvery blue, blue because it's a blue book, like a navy. So kind of went with a bluish theme, but I don't want to overdo it. So I have some bronze in here. This is most likely going to be a belly band. Not really positive. Sometimes I just kind of place items and, you know, just, 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 I'll, I'll decide later. So but then sometimes I glue stuff down. So I actually painted uh, the, this paper. So what I do is put some acrylic paint with a lot of water and some coffee and just some pre-made uh, coffee. And then I spray all that into a pan and then just lay some paper down. And that came out really pretty. It's just old copy paper and it's, it's painted now. And then I painted these two because there's text block here and text block there and I didn't want those. But I still want some journaling spaces. Not sure what I'm going to do with these two, but I kind of like the, the symmetry of that. So um, just graph paper in this. And then I made a few fold outs, which I think are kind of cool. They're almost like document folios within this book. Just put some... Uh, regular binder paper here. You can see the text through it. I kind of like that. So I'm just going to leave it that way. And just put in a fold down here. And so again, just kind of gluing paper and painting uh, just to get some, some stuff covered up. But not really putting too much in there unless I decide to. This, by the way, is only two days old. So um, you can see the other video was uploaded. Um, this one was a cool one because it was talking about, about the world, the world, the world. So I saw that and I kind of put this here and then I wrapped that map around and then it opens up to a picture of the world. This is the, the two pages that I kind of just folded down as a pocket. And then I went ahead and glued this down. I don't cut it because I want that to have the bulk. And then I just glued this part down. And again, um, I, I just left the uh, the writing here for right now, just because it'll get covered up by whatever's in here. Just put a couple strips of paper in there. My daughter had this notepad. Um, it was blue and a shoot for the stars kind of like fairy tale dream type of deal so I thought on the next page I'm gonna just do like a moon and stars and so a little bit of shiny paint there um this one totally kind of doesn't go although this page talks about a wedding and the bride so I took this page from a Bloomingdale's uh, old Bloomingdale's catalog thing. It's a photocopy and I just, and you can actually find these images online for free. So um, just put that in there. Another couple things here. And this one, I don't know. It's just a card that says happily ever after. 
there's a little piece of an envelope because it's blue. So I just kind of put that stuff in here. That's glued down. And then this is around midnight that I painted. So just kind of decided to paint some flowers on like two pages. Uh, okay, so about painting. you When you're painting on here, a lot of times you're going to have people who are gluing two pages together. Where is it? I have two pages glued somewhere. I think it's this one. There it is. So I wanted to glue this together just to kind of show you. Sometimes it depends on how thick your pages are. These are these are not not too flimsy. When I glue this together, I'm not positive I want that bulk because already and remember, I took a third of the pages out when I did that first video, and look at how it's just about exploding. So I'm, uh, I don't know, a little bit like halfway, yeah, just about halfway done. So I still have all this left, and it's gonna add a ton of bulk. So I'm probably gonna end up taking some of these pages out too. So I'm not positive I'm gonna be gluing uh, two pages together actually anywhere in here. So when I'm painting in here, I'm gonna show you like this one. So this one ends up coming out, like you can see a little bit of it here um, in the back. I don't, it doesn't, I don't mind that so much. Um, so I'm just gonna probably not, not put two of them together. Same here. This one shows up in the back, but I like it. I like the way that it's kind of showing up and bleeding through. So I don't know, I don't think I need to glue anything because I'm gluing down all these papers and it makes two sheets anyway. So anyway, I, I kind of wanted to talk about that just real quick because there are other altered books out there where everybody's gluing down two sheets of paper. I'm not really finding that to be necessary. So here I, painted and a little came through on this side, but not not too bad. And then this is already, uh, I need to probably glue the corner down on this, uh, but it's already getting fortified. So again, not really needing to do anything. But this is what I really wanted to talk about today. So this is a double fold out. Um, it is so fun and it's like kind of in the center-ish of the book. Um, I didn't really, I just decided to put it here. It's towards the center, but not quite. It doesn't matter. But you already saw that other fold out. It's the same kind of an idea. Where did it go? Where did it go? It's somewhere in here. You can feel it because it's bulky. Oh, is it towards, no? Dude, I just showed you. Where did it go? All right, well, oh, there it is. Okay, I knew it's there. So this is one fold out here. And so you have plenty of writing space. Um, this was that, that tri-fold that kind of comes up and has been distressed. So you have a writing space here underneath this. You've got writing space here and here. This can get put down. But then this one has the double, which is super cool and a ton of journaling and writing space. So I wanted to show you how to do that. Now for this, I actually wanted this to have a little bit of bulk. So I glued these two together, two pages, two pages. So this is why this is adding quite a bit of bulk back into the book. So anyway, that's kind of where I'm at right now. At this rate, I'll probably have it done in like the next couple days, but it's just been fun um, to just proceed and go through some of this. So I wanted to put a double fold out somewhere in here. Uh, the only thing I've done in here, <clears throat> excuse me, just a little bit of paint. I don't know why it's some paint there, some in here, a little bit of bronze, some in here, and <coughs> excuse me, just a little bit here and there. So I really tried not to touch this too much. We still have that fold, out. oh, okay, I painted this too. So this is that fold down. I may decoupage it a little bit with paper, but let me show you what I did in case you missed the other video. I just took two pages 
and decided that this was going to be a fold down page and um, I will glue that part down. Let me just show you what it looks like in here. It was the same same thing here. Wherever did it go? You know, if I thought about this earlier, I would have just put a tab or a or paper clip. I don't know. Maybe plan for this ahead of time, Mona. I don't. Oh, there it is. Okay. So just that's the same exact idea. I, you just glue here, glue there, and I actually glued this together and put it down. So glue these two pages together. Here's how you do it. Glue these two together, then glue this one down, and then you're gonna put some glue here and here, and make that into a pocket. And uh, if you wanna put something here or not, that's entirely up to you. And that's just how simple that was. And instead of painting, I decoupaged a napkin onto that. So there's that. All right, so double fold out. Where should I put you? I think I want, that somewhere in the middle so since i have my fold down pocket here i'm gonna pick kind of middle ish oh there's my dutch door don't want to do that okay so where do i put the double fold out huh well i think this is the only blank that i have so that's where it's gonna go unless i have it after that yeah, I can put it right after too. You know, I'm trying not to use all these cool pictures. So there's one picture here and nothing here. I'm gonna use this page. Anything else going on? Yeah, just, oh, oh, that's not even a page. Ha <laughs> ha, okay, just kidding. So that's where it's gonna be. No magic there on how I'm picking that. As you saw, it was very random and arbitrary. So some of the pages that I had ripped out before um, I just kind of cut them. I haven't even glued them together, but I use two. You can use one at a time, but I want this to be kind of sturdy, almost like a file folder in the middle of the book. So I'm going to add um, some other like fold downs and a little pocket and maybe some of those, um, what do you call it? Like the string with the tiny closures, um, just like you would have in a file folder. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly glue these two pages. I'm going to hold this down with my handy dandy masking tape and my cheap school glue because that's just how I roll. Uh, because it's not going to matter if you're using really great stuff on this um, because you're going to also tape it down with masking tape so it won't matter. Mm -hmm. So we have been having like 100 degree days here and honestly I don't feel like doing anything at all and so it's been nice to just hang out at home and do nothing and um, not by nothing I mean cut paper and paint in a book and glue and snip so my husband walks in and he's like, hey, what you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm just snipping. So just snipping around. Um, and it's just, I don't know, you can think, you can pray, you can uh, put some music on. But what I like to do is I put on, um, I've been trying to listen, uh, actually read my Bible in um, kind of warp speed. So... I listen to my Bible sometimes. I just have my notebook and my journal, another journal down, and then I'll just jot down some things while I'm doing crafts or working on things. Okay, so there's this. So um, I've been making some file folder folios, say that three times fast. I don't think I can even say it once fast. So uh, file folders and I, I just, I like the way they come together. I like the versatility of them. And I also think that it's kind of a fun surprise in the middle of the book. I, I was looking to maybe make one of those book niches 
you know, where you cut it out and then you can like put treasure in the middle. But then, goodness, you need a lot thicker of a book to do that. So maybe next time I can do that. Uh, don't worry about page numbers. It's, it doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't. So what I'm going to do is, uh, and this isn't like cut all the way. If that bothers you, by all means, cut it. But honestly, it's not going to matter. So what I'm just going to do is get this masking tape. And this is just cheap masking tape from like the Dollar Tree. In fact, I think it is from the Dollar Tree. And so a buck and I just have it handy. And the nice thing is it's like this really great manila color. And so a buck for masking tape and you can just utilize it. Uh, to your heart's content. You can paint on this also and um, just kind of have it for your use. Anyway, okay, so uh, I am putting masking tape on the front and on the back of this. And let's see if I can get this together. Okay, that's like the tricky part of this, right? So can you get it? Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to film and, or film, huh? I can tell how old I am. Um, you can, I'm trying to video and do this at the same time. Okay, so that's pretty good. You can either cut this part of the tape here. There's a little piece um, sticking up. So either cut it or um, just tuck it under. And it's okay if you have overlap or if you do it, you know, just exactly the same way it doesn't matter but the whole thing is that you are taping this down so that it will fold and unfold easily so that when you are um, utilizing this it's not going to be too crazy okay and so there it is uh, oh goodness i think i folded that in okay so just make sure that it's uh, you don't want this in all the way just like I have it. You want it to have a little bit of space there. So again, it's paper, so you can fold it, right? And you see that. So just having a little bit of space because when you close it, you're going to want, you don't want this all the way to the edge of that. And so you have just a little bit of space here and here. Don't worry about what the inside looks like because you're going to be putting... We're gonna do some flips and folds and flaps and things like that. And so then you're gonna do the same thing here and then uh, bring that in. And I'm actually gonna do it this way. And uh, this is coming all the way to the end. You can always trim it as well. It's not gonna matter. And again, let me show you what that finished result again looks like. So what I did was I have a big roll of this really cool uh, blue with the stripes painter's tape or masking tape. And so again, I glued two together. I trimmed the corner so that it's rounded, but it is two sheets of paper. And then I kind of put strips of, uh, just scraps of what's this called? Scrapbook paper. Scraps of scrapbook paper. That's very redundant. And then you can see on the inside, I put the masking tape down so that it's kind of a seamless look. And then on the outside, I put the blue, the blue stuff down. So same here. And I actually left a little bit of a gap here so that it can fold in. But if you look on the inside, I have a pretty big gap here. So I may redo that one just because it's harder to do it on camera. But that's that's the gist of it. So that on the inside, you've got this thing going on. And I mean, it's not so shabby, right? You can, you can see here. Um, yeah, it's a little bendy. So we may need to do redo this. But you're going to see that this is a thicker fold in when you are done with both of those. So that's my lesson for the day. Uh, not only just this pocket here, but also the fold in flap. And um, tune in next time when I do this Dutch door.
feel oh yeah i have that one too it's all kind of messy right now but you know it comes together in a beautiful work of art by the time you're done with it so enjoy it have fun with it uh they're just books that were meant to be thrown away anyway and you are instead turning around and drawing and painting and making it look quite lovely and if you enjoy it uh, make one for a friend uh, but it is definitely a labor of love and it's just so fun to do because it allows you to just open up and have a great time with it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any suggestions on what to do why don't you leave me a comment and tell me what you're working on or if you have questions I can tackle it in another video until next time bye